Right, so save this as a template file. Save as template. Okay, now where does this save everything to? If we go to Edit and Preferences, and we go to Folders, then we've got the links to certain types of folders. So we've got template, scrapbooks, and pattern fill images at the moment. And if we want to create, um, if you're happy with this, then that's absolutely fine. But if you want to create a template that can be shared across a network, for example, then you can click on a little plus sign and then browse to the uh, folder that you wanted to create your templates in, your job templates, and then so sort of say OK to that. And then that would add that to that. I'll just delete this one because I didn't really want it. But that will add to a list of templates, places which it will search for. Okay, so you can keep uh, templates in all sorts of different areas. And the ones or the files that you are linked to, or the folders that you are linked to, should I say, um, will appear when you sort of create a new template. So I'll just close that. But that's basically what you would do under your folder options. So close that down. And then File, Save as Template and maybe put it in my templates and I'll call this layout template okay template and okay that so now I'll close this down and I will go file now if I go new it's going to give you my white document again because this is the default template at the moment so how do I get a new one that is the other template that I want. So I go file, view from template, and this brings up recent, new, and if I go to my template, so we've got the templates that I've created. So we've got layout template, that's the one that I wanted to use. If I wanted to keep using it all the time, then I could click this box, always use select template, open, and then I've got my new template so I can use time and time again. So file, new, and I've got this same drawing. Okay, so that's creating the template. What I still want to do is something I really should have done prior to creating the template, but anyway, if I just uh, yeah, leave this one. If you click on these objects, you see that they are still selectable. I don't want that. With a template, you'd expect the um, objects to be sort of locked out on a different layer. And also, if I created another page on this, you'd want to make sure that this template was visible in every other page. So at the moment, if I scroll down to the Pages and the Layers section, and I created a new page, you'll see that the new page is blank. So how do I deal with that? Well, if you look at the layers, I've got a default layer, and I've got an On Every Page layer. So that's a bit of a giveaway in the title. We've also got these little icons. I've got Single Page and Shared across all pages. I've got a lock which locks out the layers and I've got an eyeball which makes sure that we can see the pages or not. So I go back to page one. All my objects, if I select, well I'll select all the objects so we see. A little blue dot appears on the default um, layer. This tells us that all these objects are on this layer. Okay, so if you just click on an individual one it'll tell you what layer it's on. So nothing's on this layer. If I create a new layer and call it, or well, if I right click and then say title block, and hit enter. And I want to get this to the bottom because this is also uh, represents the stacking order. So I want all my stuff from the title block to be at the very bottom. This is now penciled out, which means this is the active layer. I can then click and select all this stuff. If I right click, or part of it and move to the current layer, then it all jumps over to the title block. If I want to delete this one, I could anyway. So this is how you add and delete sort of layers, which is fairly obvious. But I'll go back to title block and you'll notice now that I've got this these two icons with a uh, single uh, bit of paper on it and eyeball. So eyeball hides. If I click on this, and control whether the layer is shared across all pages and say yes. Now on page two, I've got all, if I add a few more, so page three, it always appears on there. The final thing really I want to do is just lock everything out on the title box so now I can't be selected. Okay, what you could also do, if I want to add some bits and pieces to this, there's a new feature in the 2014 version of Layout, which is under File 
document setup is this thing called auto text. So if I wanted to permanently sort of embed um, my name across this or the company, whatever, then I could click on author and put my name down here. Okay, and then close that. And then in this box with my text, so we've got I just again the text formatting is going to be the same. So I just need to put in the less than and then a u t h o r and then greater than symbol and then hit enter. Oh, sorry, not hit enter. I'll just go back one and then sort of hit that um, pick or select option. Then it defaults to the value that's in the auto text. Okay, so you can have a lot of these sorts of things. Um, and again, this follows the general rules of the text. So if I wanted to, with this selected, change the size maybe to 18 point, then again, I can just click and drag that or nudge it into position. So this is now going to appear. Um, oh, it's not actually. So this is good. I'll show you on page two. My name disappears. On page three, it appears. So depending on whether you're going to do all the the, the name conventions, you might want to put another layer in, which is either unique to that layer, but if there was a project name, for example, so if I copy this down and we go back to document setup and I go back to auto text and I create one of these tags, so I can click on the plus sign, plus um, the plus sign, I go to custom tag and I just scroll out there and it's case sensitive, so just be wary of that. So project and for project, I will put um, title block test, very unique, and then close that. And then double click on this, change this to project. And then click away from that. So I've got title block test in here now. Now this one, I might want to go to my title block layer right click and move to current layers. So this is now on the across all layers. So whether the name is in all layers or just this sort of thing or the date or whatever, um, it's entirely up to you. But whatever you do, this is the way you can control the visibility or non-visibility of objects across various layers. So I'm going to overwrite my template now. I'm going to go File, Save as Template, and go to Templates, template name um, I can't remember what it was but uh, if I just call it template and then OK that and then file new from template so my templates I've now got layout template template okay this is the one I wanted to use always use select a template click that if you want to make this your default template and then open but basically this is the way that the template thing works I've just realized that by activating my layer so I could put this on it, it's not quite right. I'll just lock that down. Okay, it's not a big deal. You can do this after the event. It's always better if you set it all up properly, just in case somebody comes along and starts editing all the stuff that you didn't want. But this is how it all goes together. All right, so when we move further on through these videos, I'm going to show you how to add um, a bit more text, and we'll use some multi-leaders, and we'll use some dimensions, and we will look at the raster and vector options in layout.